Look who I have with me, Tina Huang and Stacey Hyduk of Ooh. Days of Our Lives. <laughs> they paired you guys up today. Yes. Were you like, what am I doing with her? No, I'm very excited. It makes so much sense to me, actually. Oh, really? Yes, because we were saying our characters, Melinda and, and, and uh, Kristen might seem like rivals, but I think they need each other. They feed off of each other. And they're very similar. <laughs> Which is very scary. <laughs> and what way are they similar, Stacey? What do you think? <laughs> you tell us. They're strong. They go after what they want. They don't apologize. Um, we've recreated our name brand, Badass Women with a Heart of Gold. Yes. Badass Bitches. Badass, badass, badass Bitches? Badass Bitches. I didn't know if we could say that, but now that we're on the Peacock, maybe we can. Well, uh, you can on my channel, <laughs> so Badass Bitches. So Badass Bitches with a Heart of Gold. Badass That's oh. Badass Bitches with a Heart of Gold. And on the back, it'll say Peacock. <laughs> so we'll walk around with it, you know what I mean? Nothing like branding. So did you know that Melinda Trask would end up being this like tough deal? Like how did you I think I just I think I've made her that way. I think I just always saw her that way, yes. Yeah. I mean, she's not just tough with without in a bubble. She's not just a bitch. She's not a bitch to be a bitch. She she actually has reasons. She's justified in every way. I I like to say y you know, you might see her as a bad guy. But I can't see her as a bad guy. I think I just want to put the people, I want justice, right? And everybody in Salem is corrupt. Everyone behind Jim Bar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want everybody. No, but I think at the same time, you know, I, I originally was motivated by what happened to my daughter. And, um, but at the end of the day, I'm a complex person who's vulnerable. And I, how my defense mechanism is to go on the hunt, right? Find purpose and meaning. And that's what I love about Melinda. And she's, She's, you know, she's not just like hateful and mean. She's, she's tough and sometimes it's fun. <laughs> you know, it's like that side of yourself where you can explore. Like sometimes I like to make you squirm. Yeah, I like to yeah, make you squirm. Yeah. Yes. Very similar to yeah. Kristen. So is Kristen going to get Brady back to blow your mind? Absolutely. I was going to say something else there, but that I didn't. Absolutely. I think she does feel like she's going to get Brady back. And she, wa I mean, she wants her family back. She's done horrible things again. Horrible. Not in her mind, she has. I it's it, but this is why when we were all day today, we've been like talking about that. It's just that like they're very similar in the sense that I don't think that Kristen's horrible. Everybody else will think I'm, she's horrible, but I believe she does bad things. Yes, we had the same conversation three years ago. I just. <laughs> And I, I remember Eric Martzoff saying that, you know, you have to take all the bad stuff that happened in the past, that even you weren't even the character. I'm like, look, I'm coming on here and I, I just, she comes from the heart. Even though people get in the way and she needs to knock them off, um, I do believe that she just yeah. knock them off. You the ones you love. Yeah, well, I mean, but yeah, I mean. No, the one she loves one. is her daughter, but I mean, and Brady, but, um, you know, she's going to do anything for her daughter. So what about Dr. Rolf and Kristen? <laughs> well, what do you want to know about Dr. I, Rolf and Kristen? I mean, <laughs> she, if she really played up to him, he, she could probably get him to do anything. Absolutely. Have everybody come back from the dead and manipulate everything. Wouldn't that be fun? They all can be zombies and... and, and <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. Um, yeah, I mean, but she does. I mean, she wants to be Stefano. You know, she wants to take charge. She wants to be the woman. And I mean, all her brothers are screw ups to her. Um, she loves them dearly, you know, to a certain point, but she gets mad at them because she gets jealous because she wants to be the number one. She doesn't want to be the, the only, you know, the child in the middle somewhere who wants, you know, oh, look, I'm getting my personal life. <laughs> she wants she needs the attention and she wants to be part of that family no matter what and they all do bad things too so yeah and so why is Kristen the I know right no 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 but it's so she and I I completely get it and I would I I do and I and I was saying like there's a certain like I think we we haven't explored that yet but I think the obsession Melinda has with Kristen and both vice versa is that there is um a mutual respect because you have to be pretty cunning and clever and intelligent to get and slippery to pull it off. And I think Melinda needs that person to fight against. And I love having that foe that, that, um, the, uh, what is it? Uh, Sherlock Holmes has Moriarty. 
I mean, I'm comparing us to Sherlock Holmes and Moriarty. I love it. Sherlock Holmes right Sherlock here. Sherlock Holmes and Moriarty. <laughs> right. You, we were talking, I was talking earlier to Victoria Grace and yes. Remy Chauvin about Asians on, you know, have, yes. getting like having an Asian family on the show and yes. more. How do you feel about that in terms of daytime? It's like very slow going. Right. But well, there is Oh, I, I, I definitely said that. Even at one point, I think I had a scene with somebody I hadn't worked with before. It was uh, Remington. And I said, oh, two Asians in one scene. Oh, ah, TV, TV might explode. No, no, no. But, you know, t- like literally TV might explode. Right. But, you know, ultimately it, do- it does mean a lot to me. It means a lot. And I, I think that the landscape is changing, surely but slowly. Um, and I hope that we do see Melinda have, you know, a family a life, family. a family and, and a relationship and, and, and all of that sort of becoming a more complex character in a, in a full human being um, and have that representation on TV and, and still also being a tough woman and beyond that and an Asian woman at that and, make, and a badass bitch and a badass bitch um, and, 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 uh, uh, oh sh- yeah Shin sorry Shin uh, Lee Lee Shin Lee Shin you never know you might be related to them are you related to them we don't know yet. You know what? I don't know either. We should have plugged that earlier. I was like, AAPI representation, hashtag please. <laughs> what do you think is the, do you have something that you thought Kristen crossed the line too far? Hmm. To justify it as an actor? Or you could always Look at me, I'm like going, it's my job to justify it. It's my job as an actress to find that place with me that would go that far. No, I'm not going to do half the stuff that Kristen does. But what's fun as a, Oh, my God. You guys actually think that I would? No, absolutely not. But this is... Okay, my God. You're just as bad as Eric. <laughs> I have to get in here. No, I mean, honestly, I my job as an actress, and this is the fun part I get to play, is that I get to go and 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 kind of find out that 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 person that would go that far. I mean, yeah, and I mean, but I honestly want to bring the passion of the character. I mean, because she she really does have this heart inside. She doesn't want to be. Hey, you know, I know. Look at me. No, I want to talk about Susan being kidnapped and playing Susan because it's so great with Susan. And then, of course, Paul is the clown. What did you, were you not dying of laughter having to play? Paul and I have well, Paul and I are friends and we, we love each other. And we were so thrilled to get these scenes. And I remember him calling me up and he says, OK, you and I get to work together again. Thank God. And, and I'm like looking, I'm like, oh, I'm Susan, this is gonna be interesting. Cause I, I don't, we've only never really had a scene together because it was Kristen Su- is Susan at that time um, manipulating him. So yeah, I mean, well, you gotta understand. I mean, the first thing is, is you got Susan wearing that mask coming in with EJ and spooking him out. And then her going, oh, what the that so, so silly, you know? I mean, clowns aren't scary. They're, they're kind of sweet, you know? And, and, and she takes off the mask and I'm like, Holy shit, this is like you can't breathe under this thing. So I told the hair and make, not the hair and make, the wardrobe, I said, you're going to have to slit a little mouth in the, the thing and put some, like, some air because he's going to be in this thing for a while. And I said, and it's suffocating. And so I told Paul that. I said, just beware. And so we just put, I mean, we have a ball. And there's some scenes coming up that we have that <laughs> they're, they're freaking hilarious. Were you worried they were going to kill Susan? Never. <laughs> they would never do that. I said, would was they? she ever worried that they'd kill off Susan? Oh, never. They would never do that to Susan. <laughs> I'm just side eyeing her. I know. I'm just. I'm doing one of those looks. But even right. And to your point. Right. Even if they were to kill Susan, does that mean that Susan would really be dead dead? I don't know. I, I, you know is there that anyone I, on this show that's dead dead? I don't think so. I, I think there's always a, I mean, even Charlie died, I think, at one point. He's around again. I you know, I think I think there's a um I, I you know, I think that's what's so exciting about the show. It's it's like so much possibility. Resuscitation central. Resuscita- <laughs> exactly. Or twin central doppelganger central. Look, everybody every like do all the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly like you, with maybe a slightly different accent. <laughs> Do you like playing Susan, or is it hard? 
No, I mean, I love playing Susan. I love playing Kristen. And I think that the thing that I love about it is there's a balance because you get to play one side of an, a, an energy that's in you and then the other side, but they come from the same place. So no, I love it. And I was, I, I, we've been talking all day about how being it, with one character for a long time, it's like you miss the other one. I miss Susan when I'm playing Kristen. And then when I get Susan, I miss Kristen. And then it's like, it's like I, I have to, it balances out my personality. <laughs> and I think that's what's exciting. I was saying too, I hope, I, I think this was exciting about Melinda is like the surprise of seeing her be nice. <laughs> Melinda? Yes, Melinda, right? I mean, it's kind of like my Susan would just be. Does she take joy in like busting people? I mean, she likes. There's, all, there's so much joy. There's so much joy in it. Yeah. There's so much joy, but I think I want to see a soft. I think I want to see like the edge for her. The the, Do you the have a man that you'd like to see Melinda with. Oh, we've been talking about this. Oh gosh, I don't know. I think well, I hear I I feel like there's been some Twitter buzz about EJ and Melinda. I don't know if that'll ever work. I mean, that's a little too much. Uh, but no, but we could have a family affair. I I think I think Kristen and Melinda should have an affair. Where we go out, we were talking about we, we'd have we go out and just having a good time. I think it'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I think they'll they'll see okay. how much they have in common. Thank you, Stacy. Oh so great God. to see you. So good to see you, so Tina. Lovely. Yes, to meet you. Watch them on Days of Our Lives streaming on Peacock.